The lifeline of the late retired army commander growing up was similar to many. He too had times of curiosity and stubbornness which at times landed him in trouble. The late Nambundunga lost four jobs under the South African administration. In some, he was fired because of his association to Swapo, while he was forced to resign from others because he asked too many questions. One such incident happened while he was employed at the Southwest Africa Broadcasting Corporation as a clerk in 1971. It was at the corporation where Nambundunga used his colonial master's typewriters in secret to type documents inviting people to attend Swapo meetings. And I smuggled out those documents from the building, and then during night time, it was five o'clock in the morning. I knew that the people are going to go to work. I, I started just I mean, running, following the street, and then drop all the papers on the, on, the, on the bus stations. So when people came out in the morning, so they, they pick up the documents, and then they start reading the whole day. A week after that, he was fired. Later, he decided to go into exile. There he joined the long and bitter struggle in which many died and some survivors lost limbs. Birds, sons and daughters of Namibia armed with determination soldiered on where songs of the liberation struggle become their comforter. The good memory I can say is the unity of purpose which really guided us. Until the downfall of South Africa's apartheid regime. Ten years before his death, the late Nambundunga sat with NBC seasoned journalist Lachia Kandongo, where he appreciated everyone's contribution to Namibia's freedom and independence. He left the world satisfied. I'm really happy that uh, I'm enjoying the fruit of my work, I may say that one. Not only mine, but also to those colleagues who at this point in time are also enjoying the fruit of this country. He was a man of order, one who believed in a second chance, especially when it comes to governance. People are having expectations. Uh, some want quick solutions, which is not impossible. So that's why I have the message to the Namibian people that I think they must be patient. And that was the last appeal from the fallen army commander and former chief of staff. Yeah.